WWE talent wants to go and they support AEW. Daniel Bryan, son reveals. Enter the arena. Band Club New Genesis Entertainment. Frozen is the one, the only affirmation, confirmation, deliberation, information organization. If it ain't legit, you had a severe deficit. Too legit to quit. If it doesn't fit, you must have quit. Triple H is not wearing the pants in his family because Stephanie McMahon is hitting his clit. That's why he has a defibrillator. Will Cody Rose finish his story for Christ's sakes and make it that's it? Or will The Rock come down there and try to destroy his dreams by saying, smell with the shit is cooking? Enter the arena club, New Genesis Entertainment. Inside the ropes, majority of WWE talent support AEW. Daniel Bryanson reveals, and they don't have a problem with going over there because it's all about the money. Mercedes Monnier, Mr. CEO, CEO, CEO. Let me tell you something. She went over there. She signed. Soraya is over there. Christian, Edge, Jericho, The Big Show. We can go on and on and on. Swerve Strickland, Samoa Joe, um, John Moxley, Cesaro. Uh, The list goes on, on and on and on. We can keep on going all night. Sheamus is going over there. Um, Shelton Benjamin is going to AEW. We can keep on going on and on and on. That's not the problem of the the AEW securing the wrestlers. It's about keeping them and keeping them fresh. Daniel Bryan says most WWE wrestlers want to see all elite professional wrestling succeed. They want to see Tony Khan, Cocaine Khan, make the right decisions, but he's on cocaine. So he keeps making the wrong decisions. Some people want to call it caffeine, but it's cold. Before becoming All Elite in 2021, Daniel Bryanson was an established star in the WWE during a recent appearance at XSXSW, the American Dragon recalled watching Cody Rose taking on Penta El Zero Mero on an episode of Dynamite and wondering if he could even hang with the stars in AEW. I see Cody wrestling Penta on Dynamite, and he does a top rope hurricane, Horkarana. Both men are standing on top rope, and Cody jumps and puts his leg in Penta's shoulders and flips him off the top. Knowing Cody, at first I was like, holy shit, this is what Cody is doing now? This is what you have to do? My reference point for that was not this is what AEW guys are doing. My reference point was, I don't know if I can hang. That was the thought. So Daniel Bryanson is showing you that regardless of Tony Coke, caffeine, fentanyl, meth, crack, what what is this guy on? What is this sick freak on? How do your eyes open that? Does he got Graves disease? Like, um, uh, Wendy Williams, is he alcoholic? What is causing he don't got a girlfriend? I want to know. I want to know, Tony Khan. Why are your eyes like that? Wear sunglasses. Wear sunglasses. Let me tell you, this job has driven me so crazy. These investors, look at my eye. My eye is swollen. Look at that. I can't even see out of my left eye. Can't y'all see it? You can see it. My eye is swollen. That's what covering professional wrestling will do to you. So I can understand why Tony Coke caffeined up con artists. Eyeballs can't close. Eyelids, you can't shut them. And you're looking at my face. You're staring in my face because you want to know that somebody punched me in my eye. No. I think I was poisoned. Because 
I'm not a WWE whistleblower. I don't I don't work for them. How can I be a whistleblower? I just cover professional wrestling. Listen, Danielson says that at the time there were mixed options, opinions of all elite wrestling in WWE, with some even wanting the young company to fall. However, when it came to the wrestlers, the majority of wrestlers in the back of the WWE want to go to AEW. Can you believe that? Overwhelming support for the promotion as the competitor was good for everyone in the industry just in case they leave WWE. This is this is deep what I'm telling you. Going back to the awareness in WWE at the time when AEW started, everybody was aware. Different people had different takes on it. The same thing whenever there is some kind of challenge or startup happening, you have some people who want them to fail right away just to prove whether it is. There's only one way to do this and that sort of thing. Most of us, most of the wrestlers want to go to AEW and they wanted to see succeed. That's better for everybody. You look at anybody in the industry, if there is just one being on top and there is no competitors, that's not good for talent. That's not good for people working on their creative side. It's not good for a lot of people. For a lot of us, we were watching and hoping that it would succeed because we all know we might have to go to AEW one day. Little did we know, any of us, four years in, They'll sell 81,000 tickets to Wembley. Everyone was watching AEW, and everyone had different opinions. Brian Danielson addresses how AEW can win over new fans. During the same panel, Daniel Bryanson looked at how AEW could gain a bigger audience. Despite what some others have said over the years, he believes that one key thing is not to make big changes to dynamite as it's already successful. And Daniel Bryan, it said, he had a conversation with Vince McMahon. And Vince McMahon was asking Daniel Bryan. See, I'm going to type, type it in right now. We're live. And I'm going to see if we can pull this up. And as we are live and we're trying to pull it up, does it nothing come up? But I can tell you off the top of my head because I remember what I read. So Vince McMahon was like, what, what do you see in AEW? What changes do you see that we could make? About WWE. And what he said was Daniel Bryan had said to Vince McMahon that it wasn't nothing that Vince McMahon needed to do to change. And it wasn't. See, I just pulled it up. TJR Wrestling, AEW question Vince McMahon had for Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan is a leading figure wherever he goes. And during his time on WWE's creative team, Vince McMahon hit him with a surprising question about AEW. Vince had questions for Daniel Bryan about AEW. He said, when asked at a pan panel at SXSW about what AEW needs to do to get to the next level, Brian Danielson revealed that Vince McMahon had once asked him about AEW success and what Tony Khan's company was doing that his was not. Brian said, if you look at Dynamite and look at where can we make improvements to gain an audience here or to touch people to a different level, the idea is you can't make big changes because Dynamite is already successful.
Um, and they got commercials that just take up the screen and you can't read or do anything. But look, look at what this says. He said, this is what we're talking about in WWE. Vince McMahon actually called me one night. I was part of WWE creative and he called me one night and said, what is AEW doing that we're not doing? I went back and watched eight straight weeks of TV within the span of six days and was like, there is a whole list of things. What you don't want to do in getting to the next level is to change things that's already working because there are so many things already working, then it's experimenting with different things. Brian Danielson brought his time in the WWE into an end in 2021 before debuting for AEW in a huge moment at the end of All Out in the same year. Daniel Bryan will be part of Wrestling Dream Match at AEW Dynasty on April 21st as he winds down his full-time wrestling career. All right. Let me tell you something. I got 30 seconds. Daniel Bryan career in AEW is not going well at all since leaving the WWE. He was up here. Now he's down here. Um, AEW will never be able to compete with the WWE on a, uh, a high level. They're, they're, that's why those wrestlers always say in WWE, okay, well, we, we, we support AEW because we, we know we'll eventually get fired from the WWE, so we need Tony Crackhead Khan to give us some money until we go down to the, the independent scene and be nobodies. So that's, that's basically it. And, and it's a sad thing. WWE has to do nothing to adapt to AEW because they're beating the living crap out of them and they can never compete with them. AEW will never be able to compete with the WWE because they can't even start off their show with the wrestlers giving a promo whatever without having Tony Schiavone in there or talking stupid. Then their matches are stupid. And then the trio matches and all these all these belts. It's a ROH champion. It's an AEW TNT championship. It's like so many belts you can't even keep track of who's who. Then if somebody's on getting a push, they push can just drop off and you never see them again. Like Kenny Omega is a part of the company still, and he ain't nowhere near close to the title scene. Samoa Joe's the world champion, and he's he's a lackluster world champion. You got Swerve Strickland in there, seemed close to winning it, but he's not even close to being a champion. You had MJF that was doing great. Now he's no longer there. He wants to go to WWE. So I think it's more of the AEW wrestlers want to be in the WWE and the ones that couldn't make it. Now they're stuck in a crappy promotion with a with a with a with a leader like Tony Khan, who's never going to give you respect because his own father gives him billions of dollars, and it's not one wrestler. Even if The Rock came to AEW. Uh, Tony Khan wouldn't even know what to do with him. So WWE wrestlers wanting to go to AEW, these are wrestlers that know that they can't hang with the best promotion in the industry. And if they can't hang there, then maybe they do need to go to AEW.